change doesn't come easily to ballet. Just ask Misty Copeland, a soloist at New York's American Ballet Theater. She's one of very few African Americans ever to be at the top of her art form. That's something she and her company want to put behind them. As um, an African American ballerina, in the 21st century, um, it's still rare to see us. And so I think it's about opening up people's eyes to understanding that we can all be a part of the classical ballet world. It doesn't matter what your skin color is. In the past, African Americans have gone to Europe to dance where their skin color mattered less. Some blame racism, others the demands of ballet training on time and resources for working class families. The three black students in this summer's elite class in New York have heard all the familiar arguments. I feel like people weren't used to seeing you know, African Americans mm -hmm. in the white art. You know, they're used to us doing hip hop or modern, which is like, I don't want to do it because it's too cliche. It's too expected from a black person. At the American Ballet Theater School, they're explicitly searching for young dancers from once excluded groups. Misty Copeland is the force behind Project Plie, as it's known. In less than a year, there's a 10% rise in minority students, and that bodes well for ballet's popularity, too. People who are in the audience want to see people who look like them on stage. And as long as we don't have that rep representation, I don't expect there to be diverse audience. Soon, Misty Copeland will dance the lead in Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake, the first time an African-American has done so at this level. She cites a well-known role model who also didn't let race get in the way of success. I think that he's definitely set the bar um, for change, uh, President Obama, and it's, it's nice that we have someone like that to set an example that um, African-Americans, Hispanics, minorities are capable of being leaders in our communities. Art, it's said, reflects life. If that's true, then this art form, at least, is well on its way to looking a lot more like the society around it. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, New York.